we'll guide you through how to screen mirror your iPhone to your iPad or vice versa. If you find this guide useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. To go and do this, you are gonna go and need an app, but the app is free. There is a paid version of it, but we can go and utilize the free version. So go and open up the app store like so, and the app you're gonna want is called A Power Mirror. So what you need to do is go and download it on both devices. As you can see, I've already got it. This is open. Once you've got it, go and open the app up. So go and press open and then open. Now, when you first go and open up the app, it's going to go and say, do you want to allow this app to go and access local devices on your network? Make sure you press allow, that's super important because that's how this app works. Then all you want to do is once the app is open and you're on the same Wi-Fi network, as you can see, I'm on Sky and Sky. To go and change this, you can just open up your settings um, and you can go into your Wi-Fi and change that. But yeah, just make sure you're on the same one. Then all you want to do is from the device which you want to mirror your, your screen from, in this case, this device here, uh, my iPhone, I'm gonna tap on local cast and it will take a moment and it will then find all the devices on your Wi-Fi network. As you can see, there is my iPad and you can see the name of the device in the top left there. I can then just go and click on it like this and it'll then say, do you want to start this broadcast? I'll press start broadcast and then it should go and appear pretty shortly on my iPad and there we go. Then you can go and close off of it. And just like that, we're now mirroring our iPhone to our iPad. So if you want to go maybe do a screen show of photos or just maybe like go over a document with other people, this works really well. And if you go back to the A Power Mirror app, you can also go and change your audio and you can go and press on disconnect as well. So once you're finished, press on disconnect, then press stop broadcast. And just like that, you'll stop broadcasting your screen. And as I said, you can also mirror your iPad to your iPhone as well, doing the exact same steps. So if you found this useful, please leave a like.